Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquarius, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right in the middle. Now, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, friendly reminder, I am available for private reading. So if you're after one, I do have those links down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Aquarius for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so we get adjacent possibilities, okay. We have patience, all right. And we also have blossoming abundance coming through. Ooh, okay. So, excuse me, what I'm seeing here, Aquarius, is a lot of you, you may have a few options in love, or maybe you're just trying to figure out how to go about this, how to make this connection work. I do feel that there's divine assistance here with this patience card and number 16 is a tower moment. So for some of you, there has been some sort of shakeup or some sort of surprise here. I'm also getting some of my Aquarius. You've been very, very focused on your work and your finances on your own personal path. And I feel like you've been quite patience, patient with love, but I do feel like this might be some sort of surprise. Like this is some sort of factor that you didn't consider with this person. And we see number 44, woman holding a heart. So for a lot of you, I do feel there's a beautiful love offer. And number 44 is one of my favorite master numbers. And it is about stability and protection. So you have been protected. And many of you, you've experienced some sort of tower moment. You are being protected for, or that tower moment was some sort of protection. Um, some of you, you I, I feel like it's weird. I feel like your, your focus is really largely on your finances right now. So maybe there was, you took some sort of financial hit, you lost a job, or maybe money hasn't been so great, but you've been like working very, very hard at it. Spirit's saying to be patient, that you do have abundance coming towards you, but I also feel like you have love coming towards you. So I feel in the next couple of weeks here, Aquarius, you've probably got a pretty full plate. You've got a lot of options. You've got a lot to think about. It might feel a little bit overwhelming, but I don't think so. And I also feel with this energy of patience, don't let anybody rush you, whether we're talking love or we're talking finances here. But you do have a beautiful love offer coming in. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here between you and this specific person. Now, of course, maybe you've offered your love or your heart to someone else or to someone here. All right, so we have your energy, Empress in reverse. Okay, some of you, yeah, I feel like there's something here. Some of you, if you own your own business or you're entrepreneurs, like things might have been very slow for you recently. And I feel like that has your focus, right? But I'm seeing that there's like a little bit of a booby trap here with this door on the, on the, on the way. Um, so I do feel some of you, maybe you've fallen into some sort of trap or you feel that way, but you're being patient. You're focused on your abundance. Something here hasn't been able to work out the way that you wanted it to. And, and maybe some of you too, you, you're feeling a bit, you're feeling left, you're left feeling a little bit miffed or a little bit confused about a particular relationship. Um, maybe you, I am getting maybe one where there was some sort of third party interference. Maybe you were waiting for somebody to, you know, leave, um, leave somebody or to be, you know, become free, single, divorced. Okay. So we have the five of swords in reverse. So this person that we're dealing with here definitely does want to heal things with you. And with the nine of wands, they still hold a torch for you, Aquarius. Hmm. And we have the ace of cups. Yeah, there's a big sense of lack or loss here when it comes to love. And I do feel a lot of my aquas, you've therefore just focused on work and your path forward. I do see you have somebody here that wants to heal something with you. Okay, and I do, maybe you've been waiting for this. I do feel there's been divine timing at work here. We have Taurus and Libra and energy coming through, which you may have in your chart, or maybe your person does. But yeah, I feel there's a sense of disappointment here, Aqua, that with, you know, with what's happened in a few different areas of your life, but particularly in love. Some of you, you felt like maybe this person was treating you like an option, or maybe you decided to just open up your options or just open yourself up to see what's out there. 
We see your energy, the star card, and we see the nine of swords in reverse. Okay, so I do see that the worst is over here, Aquarius. The worst is over. Some of you, you're healing from, again, maybe being put in a third party situation. Maybe you were patiently waiting for somebody to, you know, leave another situation, move towards you. Um, just sort of step up and be your emperor is what I'm getting, or empress, depending on how you identify. And I feel like that didn't happen. I feel like that didn't happen. Now, it, this person may be coming towards you trying to heal things and trying to apologize. Um, but I do see that the worst is over and healing is taking place. And your focus isn't so much on this connection as it was before. And I think you're going to be surprised here by this love offer. Your person, the Nine of Wands, this person potentially has a military background. This person is definitely very sexy. They're very confident. They are a little bit guarded. This person holds a torch for you. Okay, they're grieving the Five of Cups and we see the Four of Pentacles. They are letting go of something to come towards you, Aquarius. Like I said, some of you, it's a third party. For others of you, it might be a, a you know job. It might be distance. They might be deciding that they are going to move. Because with the Five of Swords in, in reverse, we do have somebody that, you know, on both sides in your shared energy, wanting to heal things. But you're both kind of in the Four of Swords position, which indicates you're not quite moving yet. Yep, avoiding disaster. And we see the Ten of Cups energy in reverse. I think your person's ending something. You know, I know not all of you are going to like it. Not all of you is it your story, but some of you, they're ending a connection. They're ending a connection to come towards you to heal things because they don't want to let you go. They can't let you go. And Aqua, some of you with the Page of Wands in reverse, you are going to be a little bit hesitant because it does look like you've started looking out at other opportunities or just like, you know, is there another path here? Is there a path of least resistance? I do feel like you've been doing a lot of healing work. There could be a little bit of overthinking, a little bit of worry here as well. If, you know, if we go back, if I go back to this person or we do heal things, are things just going to go back to the same old, same old? So let's see what we need to know about your person here. What do my Aquarius need to know about my person here? Or you're not my person, your person. Yep, you're about to get a message. Yeah, and this person, they were, they did a runner. All right, they either had a fear of intimacy, they were listening to their ego. Um, they may be the runner in a codependent relationship. So they may have been in a codependent relationship and running to you when things weren't working out. Or, you know, instead of ending that connection, you know, starting one with you. Again, I know those aren't the messages that a lot of you do want to hear, but it's definitely coming through. And if you know that there's no third party situation here with this person, again, this person may have just not been ready for intimacy. They were listening to their ego, but they do want to talk to you. They are ready to talk. They do want to clear the air. They are coming in with a love offer. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Aquarius, you want stability, security, and permanence. And I see that you're very self-focused at this time and very focused on your own abundance. Yeah, and some of you, you do have this person blocked and you've been avoiding this person or you're still very angry with them. And I, and I do, and I can see why, whether there was third party in, involvement or not, I can see why. Because I, I feel like you, you recognize you weren't, you weren't getting what you want, wanted out of this connection or you weren't being treated the way that you wanted or you felt you were on the, on the same, you were not on the same page. But there's divine timing, there's divine intervention here with patience. And there's something here that absolutely does need to come to an end. I do feel like you both are kind of giving each other the silent treatment at this time. And yeah, and there's some big concerns here about whether or not this is enough. Now, we do get this energy of fear and ego issues coming out, listening to ego, fear of intimacy. So this is something that really does need to be looked at, Aquarius. Now, it's it's in the shared position, but it's I feel like you're really taking a look at, is this person, you know, even if I love them a lot, right? Can they offer me what I'm really truly looking for? Because I think you've been focused really on healing your own heart here. You've been focused on your, your abundance. You've been focused on basically doing it for yourself. Not that you completely wrote this person off, but I do feel like, you know, you may have been waiting for them to show up for you. And subsequently they didn't, or they didn't show up for you. And subsequently you decided to take matters into your own hands and either look elsewhere or just focus on your own stability. So let's see what this person wants you to know. There's definitely been a tower moment, but this tower moment, Aquarius, has been for your highest and greatest good. And I feel like it's putting you on a higher path. All right. Uh, I feel you even though we're apart. So there, you two are definitely still connected. 
you probably feel them, you probably can feel them thinking about you. I left you before you could leave me. So this person, they most likely did a runner here, okay? Third party or not, this person did a runner and that may have left you feeling quite shocked and the timing just wasn't quite right for us. So we do see this, you know, this um, angel holding a clock here. So there is something for sure about divine timing at work here. But is the time now, Aquarius? That's the big question. I mean, I do see that there's potential possibilities here for you to, to reconcile, to heal things, to have that conversation. But I feel like a lot of my aquas, you're starting to recognize that there's, this isn't maybe everything that you once thought it was. Okay, but let's see, because I, I get that hesitation there with the page of wands in reverse. Some of you, you're recognizing that this person didn't step up to meet your empress energy. You know, they showed up more as like a page or a knight here. Let's see. At the soul level, their higher self or their future self is saying, I missed out on something so good. The next person you allow into your life is lucky. So they are recognizing what they've lost. And I wish I could have been emotionally available and let you in. Yeah, so they definitely didn't. They weren't available. They didn't let you in here. Okay. Is there anything else my Aquarius need to be aware of at this time? Is there anything else that my Aquarius need to be aware of at this time with this person, this connection? They're feeling lost without you, okay? And learning karmic lessons. So for some of you, this certainly may have been a karmic lesson for you. Definitely for them, you know, remember we are all someone else's karmic. And you I you know, I feel my aquas, I feel you're in a, I feel you're in a much powerful, much more powerful energy, or you just kind of don't want to hear it right now. And I feel that's what like you've been able to shift your focus. You've been doing a lot of healing. I get a lot of cards of you healing, and you may heal past this person. Some of you, yes, some of you know, you'll have to let me know in the comment section down below. What else you need to know? This rejection is actually divine protection. So that's a message that's been coming through since the beginning of this reading. And we do also see that there's interference in this connection. Again, it could be work. It could be a third party. Some of you, yes, this person was married or is married. Um, it could be distance, bad advice. It could be many things. But we also see healing. And I feel like that's the message here for my Aquarius. A lot of you, you have been super focused on your healing. And for a lot of you, once we get into this very healed and balanced state, we're not willing to accept crumbs or we're not willing to accept what we may have accepted before. So you're going to have to let me know, Aquas. Let me know down below in the, in the comment section. If these messages do resonate with you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.